guys can see that it goes a nine times, so we have to use a grater to make it smaller. Before that, we have to pass the nine times, which is like a key monkey. Really, really, really small. This is bad with the brush. This is a, what we call our tank room. We put rainbow trout here, and we start them here as eggs. We get eggs five times a year, trout eggs. And eventually they grow to fingerlings, which is trout that are about the size of your fingers. And then eventually, once they get that big, we take them outside and raise them. Building. This building was funded by the Army Corps of Engineers. Right now, we have 32 tanks in here where we can put our larval pelt surgeon um, when they once they reach a certain size. We can put them in here. Building, we have just the palace and fry. And by that we mean larvae of palace surgeon. So the babies, the really, really small ones. Uh, these are our youngest uh, palace surgeon on station. Total, they're all full of palace surgeon fry. And they're all about the same age, I want to say a month and a half old. We feed them braided brine shrimp right now, which is uh, it comes to us in frozen sheets in the brine shrimp and we grate it just over the water, mix it in and it settles to the bottom and that's where they eat. So right in front of us are ponds, but we have three earthen ponds that we use and that means they're clay bottom for a rainbow trout. We also have a large pond that's lined over there to the right and that is for our fishing derbies. We put trout in there uh, that are larger for our kids fishing derby and our elderly and disabled fishing derby that happens every June. We also put walleye in there in the fall whenever we raise uh, walleye fingerlings. It doesn't happen every year.